If you're struggling to keep your AI-generated characters consistent across your animated stories, this is the video you've been waiting for. Whether it's mismatched faces, constantly changing outfits, or characters that just don't look the same from scene to scene, I get it. It's frustrating. That's why today, I'm going to show you the ultimate method for creating multiple consistent characters using just Design AI. I've broken it down into three simple steps, and by the end of this video, you'll be able to design, control, and animate a full cast of characters, all using one tool, with a consistent look and feel across your entire story. Let's dive in. Step 1. Create characters for your story. Now, when it comes to building consistent characters in Design AI, there are two main paths you can take. The first is a faster method perfect if you want to get started quickly. The second is more creative and controlled, and it's ideal if you've already created images elsewhere or want more precision. I'll show you how to use both so you can decide what fits your project best. Let's try both options. Start by logging into your Design AI account, go to the workspace, and on the left toolbar, find the character option and click it. Here are the tools you'll see. Build your character. To create your characters, Manage your characters, your character library, including predefined characters and ones you create. Then we have tools to generate images with your character, insert character into images and character sheet. Now, let's try first option for building your character. Click build your character, then choose the first option. Give your character a name like Emma and describe them in detail. When you're describing your character, make sure you are specific. The more specific you are, the more consistent the output will be. In the text prompt box, include basic features like age, gender, body type, then hair and facial details like color and length for outfit and accessories. Define type of clothing, shoes, hats or props and add personality and vibe like playful, serious, heroic, adventurous. Here is an example. A cheerful young girl with curly red hair, bright green eyes, wearing a blue dress and red sneakers. She has a friendly smile and carries a small leather backpack. Choose your desired style. Design AI offers a variety of options, such as 3D models that are great for stories and videos, animations, realistic style, or character style that is ideal for children's books or game-like designs. Design AI will generate a character sheet with multiple angles, front, side, back. Check the preview and, if you are happy with it now, let Design AI do the rest and it will train the model now. This takes around 20-30 minutes. This method is quick and surprisingly effective if you are looking to get started right away. So, let's check the second option. For this method, we'll first create our character sheet. Go back to Character and select Character Sheet. Pick an art style that matches your project, then write a strong description that ensures your character stays consistent and visually appealing, just like in the previous example. We're now going to create our second character. Here's an example prompt. A kind and adventurous teenage boy with wavy brown hair, warm hazel eyes and a light tan complexion. He's wearing a casual green hoodie, dark jeans and white sneakers. He has a relaxed, friendly smile and carries a canvas messenger bag over his shoulder. This level of detail will help the AI generate a cohesive character that looks natural across multiple scenes. Click Generate to create a set of images, then review the results in the preview panel. If something looks off, like missing details or incorrect outfits, you can edit the character before finalizing. If you need adjustments, you can refine your character using Design AI's editing tools like AI Eraser to remove unwanted objects or accessories, Local Edit to modify facial expressions, outfit details or poses, Insert Object to add accessories like hats, glasses or props, and a really useful one, Hand Repair. Make sure your character looks exactly how you want before moving on to the next step. To ensure consistency, generate multiple sheets with varied angles and expressions, like smiling, surprised, or serious. Pro tip number one, use the 16-9 aspect ratio for better multi-angle character generation. Pro tip number two, 
To reproduce the same character in your character sheet, copy the seed number from your generation and paste it into the advanced settings for your next prompt. Pro tip number three, make sure your character is on a clear background with clean details and multiple angles. Next, crop and separate each pose and facial expression into individual images and place them against white background. Once you're happy with how everything looks, it's time to train your character. Navigate to the left toolbar and click Character. Go to Build Your Character. Select the second option, give your character a name and upload 1 to 30 high-resolution images. Then click Train. The training process takes about 20 to 40 minutes. Once it's complete, your character will appear in the character library, ready to be used in any scene. By the way, if you're new around here, I'm Nora. I share tips on starting online businesses and earning passive income using AI tools. If that sounds like your thing, hit subscribe and don't miss out. Oh, and check the description for some free resources to help you get started. Step 2. Generate images with your character. Now that we have a fully trained, consistent character, it's time to put them into different scenes. To get the best results, we will divide this process into two smaller steps. First step, create the scene. Go to Generate Images under the Character tool. Select a character from the library. The default description will appear in a character description box. Keep it. This helps maintain consistency. However, sometimes your character's default outfit won't fit the scene. For example, wearing a sweater at the beach, so you need to delete clothing detail. Also, you should remove unnecessary details from prompts if they will not be visible in the scene, for example, red sneakers in a portrait setting. This is important step if you want AI to create a natural-looking result. Next, start adding scenes description with one or more characters in a character action and scene box. Here are some examples. Emma is hiking up a mountain, looking determined. Great new feature here is camera settings, where you can adjust character direction and camera shot. I will go with left view and wide shot and click generate. Let's look our image. She looks great. All details are here. I really like how this one turned out. Now let's try one option with two characters. Emma and Jake sitting on a log, laughing while sharing a snack. Daylight with forest background. In camera settings, I will go with front view and upper body options and click generate. Emma looks great and consistent in this one as well. And don't worry if other character is not what you expected. They are just a placeholder and we will edit them in the next step. So let's go to the next step. Insert character into images. Now, once you have your images ready, you can start editing interactions between characters using your trained models and insert tool. You can either use an image with a background scene and just your first character, then add the other characters manually or use an image where two characters are already interacting and simply replace the incorrect one with your trained character. There are two ways to do this. The faster option is to edit directly from the image results. Just click on the image you want to edit in line with the insert character option. Or from the characters menu, select the insert character tool to add a second trained character. At the top, you'll see three selection options lasso, brush, and auto. I've tried all three and I recommend using the lasso tool to select the area where your new character should be placed. Let's select where we want our character to be placed. Make sure you leave enough space around your selection so the AI can do its work properly. Now, choose a character from this option here and select your second character. Enter the pose and action. For example, Jake is holding a coffee cup and looking at Sarah. Click Generate and Design AI will seamlessly place both characters together. Pro tip, be specific about positioning and framing. Mention whether the character is facing left, sitting, standing or interacting with an object. Also note whether we see the full body or just a half body view. Let's look our image. Wow, this looks amazing. You can repeat the same process if you only have a background scene, though it's a bit harder to get proportions right. Still, it's a fun option to experiment with. 
Step 3. Bringing characters to life with animation. Now that we've successfully placed our consistent characters in different scenes, it's time to bring them to life. With Design AI's Image to Video tool, you can transform static images into smooth animations, perfect for animated content. Go to AI Video in the main menu. Here, you'll find all the video generation options. And remember, you can even lip sync your characters if needed. For our project, let's select Image to Video. You'll see an amazing selection of video models from some of the best video generation engines available. Select the character image you want to animate. You can either upload an image or use a visible image from your canvas as your starting frame. Start with a description of what's happening in the image, then follow up with a clear video description. To create realistic movement, include a prompt that describes what the character is doing, then add camera movement details. Here are some example prompts for animation. Emma and Jake are hiking through the jungle. He is gently pointing the interesting place with a finger. Camera is following them while they continue their walk. Pro tip. The more specific your action description, the smoother and more natural your animation will be. Some settings we have are imagination slider. This controls how creatively the AI interprets your prompt. Move it right to follow the prompt closely. Move it left to allow more AI creativity and flexibility. Then duration. Choose between 5 seconds for short, simple motion or 10 seconds for more detailed movement. And if you're using Klingai as your video generator, you also have the option to define start and end frames, a helpful and optional feature. Here's so to create smoother transitions, you can set both a starting frame and an ending frame. For example, your character walking from point A to point B. Design AI will automatically generate the in-between motion. Design AI also offers integrated camera movement options via Minimax Hiluo AI, giving you customization to control the look and feel of your animation. Now you'll see camera options below. You can choose from a wide range of cinematic shots or select up to three custom camera movements from the free selection. Once you're happy with your setup, click Generate and let Design AI process the animation. The process takes a few minutes, so be patient. Once the animation is ready, review the motion. If something feels off, tweak the prompt and try again. This looks great so far. Pro tip here. Even small edits to your prompt or starting frame can make a huge difference in achieving a more natural result. Here's an example of a prompt for an action scene. Emma is running ahead through crumbled stone ruins with Jake is following behind, both looking back over their shoulders like they're being chased. The video is done. Let's review the output. Not exactly what we asked for, but honestly, still pretty amazing. Let's check out one more video. This one looks fantastic. Overall, I think design really nailed it as an all-in-one tool. Congratulations! You've successfully created fully consistent characters, placed them in scenes, and animated them. Now you're ready to add the final touches, voiceovers, background music and edits, to produce a polished, engaging video. Now it's your turn. Try it out and let us know how it goes in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more AI-powered creative tutorials. See you in the next video.